next because all these data we are collecting from iot so now we'll discuss how these ml operations can be used in analyzing a uh, huge big data how it goes on because there is a uh, you know the data which you are collecting is very huge and this ml operations can be categorized into two types two groups that is local learning and remote learning so local uh, learning means here the data is collected and processed locally either in the sensor itself or in the gateway itself that means sometimes your sensor itself will process it so that type of um, you know um, processing is called as local uh, learning so sometimes it can be in the gateway we call them as a fog node so in the fog computing that comes remote learning in the le remote learning technique that here the data is collected and sent to the central computing unit that means here there will be a, a separate one unit that is computing unit which is called a centrally placed so that is mainly meant for processing the data from which it collects some various sensors and it gives you the next uh, you know response that is remote learning i think two operations are there i told you already one is local another is remote further what we can do uh, irrespective of the location wherever the data etc or the size of the data can be when the data is processed and the common applications of ml for iot revolve around four major domains mainly uh, this ml what we call ml machine learning uh, to process in the iot so it undergoes four domains okay so that is first is monitoring second is behavioral control third is operations optimization and the fourth one is self healing and self optimizing probably you might have seen so many movies already in the category of robotic related english or hindi or any other movies where that uh, designed robot automatically automatically it gets healed by itself that self healing in automatically it optimizes i think uh, that probably we have uh, in google uh, you know where we use this navigations okay automatically the route gets optimizes as you change the directions in the google map google map i think you have that option google optimization it automatically optimizes by itself based on collecting the data uh, there is one particular part which computes now we'll see one, one by one what is monitoring behavior control operations optimizations and self filling and self optimizing optimization so monitoring means here smart objects monitor the environment where they operate because we use smart objects that consist of processing unit sensor power supply etc okay and communication so they whatever we use so we need to monitor there also and data in this category is processed to better understand the conditions of the operations because they produce the data we need to understand them in a better way and what are these conditions these conditions can be external factors such as air temperature humidity or presence of carbon dioxide in a mine or to operational internal factors such as pressure of a pump viscosity of a oil flowing in a pipe because we need to understand them viscosity etc based on that uh, is it no operating normally or not we need to monitor that when the um, in a big industries and all where we use machines robot where they are performing the operations automatically so are they running normally is there any component fails uh, based maybe due to the temperature humidity pressure of course it happens if there is huge temperature it may damages some other components of the particular processing unit of a industry and it must inform to the central line process that is called as monitoring so in the monitoring we use ml okay it can be used to, with the monitoring to detect early failure conditions uh, there might be a chances or that like any component may get failure so you need to detect in early in advance that if this much temperature goes or if this much uh, uh, something goes then you can easily detect early failure conditions then what we can use for that ml machine learning can be used to detect early failure conditions so for that i think already i told you about k means okay so we use this k means algorithm which can give you the better conditions that's why they used to predict you know early 
failure conditions so again i correlate the the same you know with the current problem the pandemic this is what we are currently facing in the whole world so early failure some in early problems wherever it, it it can it can occur then we need to detect them in early that what can be if if lockdown relaxes 10% 20% 50% 80% 100% if in the in these ratios in this in this percentages if the lockdown gets releases okay relaxes okay to 50% what is the problem what can be the uh, problem it should be it should detect automatically that how many number of um, active cases can occur in a day i think currently today you would have seen or not in news 3900 uh, active cases have come already one day on, you know 24 hours so that's again due to the lockdown so they are giving and uh, that's why they are giving you in the end of the second week third week fourth week of may so and so things can come this another you know type of technique of analysis that's monitoring which we use here okay and that is used to for better evaluation of the environment i told you current environment is that so we need to evaluate better way for that we need to monitor using ml uh, like here they have given examples uh, shape recognition for robot automatically sorting material or picking goods in a warehouse or supply chain then we use uh, these ml techniques second is behavioral control <clears throat> So we know monitoring already we used uh, to control the behavior of the control, etc. So when a given set of parameters reach a target threshold, suppose you have a, some set of parameters, if it reaches to the threshold, so you, you used to set some threshold. If it reaches this much, then off or on or stop or start or whatever, you have some uh, decisions. So that should be defined in advance. That is supervised or learn dynamically through deviation from mean values. So if it reaches to the particular threshold value automatically, something should happen that is going to be done in the behavioral control. And um, th there should be an alarm can be uh, relayed to human, but more efficient and more advanced system would uh, trigger or a corrective action. So we need to do that, especially they've given here. Uh, uh, in increasing the flow of fresh air in the mine tunnel 